Hello everyone. Today we will learn that how the energy band level of the material uh, can affect the performance of the perovskite solar cells. Uh, let's say we we are, are taking the spiral as HTM in the perovskite solar cells, and we want to see that the performance uh, can be affected by the energy level of this material so for example uh, let's say we have this ant simulation software and we load our device which we we have saved on the first layer name and we can see that there are two ways uh, uh, to change the energy level of these material one is the uh, to change the affinity of the material electron affinity in this case and the second one is the uh, energy gap of this material uh, let's say we we take the spiral as an example so first we we, we will see that uh, how the affinity can change the performance of the perovskite solar cells uh, let's say in this case we have the electron affinity for the spiral 2.2 electron volt and we want to simulate uh, for the spiral for example if we see this is 3.93 and for the titanium this is 4 so we will only focus in this video on the spiral so this is for 2.2 for the spiral and we say ok and we run our simulation yes and we will see what will happen with the efficiency let's say we copy this figure uh, over here this is for the for the case of 3.2.2 uh, uh, electron volt for the spiral this is the efficiency if we see the efficiency is around about 20.59 and we will check the energy level of this material in this case for example we copy it and paste over here okay in this case this is the energy level of this material on the right side uh, this is the spiral and at the middle it is perovskite and at the left it is the titanium or ETL so if we see uh, uh, the band offset uh, over here it is a little bit uh, uh, lower in this case uh, for example if we shift this to the positive level so what will happen uh, for that we will need to change the electron affinity and let's say go to the spiral and this is for example we take it uh, 2.8 so we increase it in the positive direction so let's say ok and run the simulation yes ok we will see the if we see the efficiency the efficiency is around about 0.24 so how it is uh, uh, it is changed uh, from 20 to uh, 0.24 this is because of this uh, of the uh, spike over here uh, for example copy this and compare it with the previous one Okay, this was previous and this is in this case so now if we compare both uh, energy level uh, in the first case it was 2.2 uh, for the spiral so the, we will see the uh, valence band offset so in this case the offset was uh, uh, like a little bit for example from the spiral or uh, from the perovskite side the holes goes to the spiral so it is easy for the for the holes to move or to be collected by the spiral on this interface but if we look on the 
uh, on the on the other side uh, if we improve or if we increase the uh, the affinity like 2 point up to 2.8 so there will be a spike and it will be difficult for the homes to move from the sky to the homes because there is a spike and there will be uh, difficulty for the for the homes to move uh, from the sky to the spiral so this is one way uh, uh, to uh, to uh, to control the energy level of the used material uh, so it is important to control the, the uh, a lower value in this case for the spiral uh, at least 2.2 uh, up to 2.2 electron volt to get the higher efficiency in the perovskite so, so, so this is one way to to see the um, the influence of the electron affinity of the material on the performance of the uh, perovskite so cells the second way is the the uh, energy band is uh, energy gap of the material as we know that for example if we uh, if we are uh, synthesize uh, synthesize uh, some material so we will get some energy band of that material so it will depend on the for example if we see over here so we will go to our initial value for the electron affinity 2.2 now we will see the uh, the the effect uh, of the energy band of this material the spiral on the on the efficiency of the uh, perovskite solar cells in the first case the energy band for the spiral is uh, around about 2.91 electron volt so we will see that uh, what is the result and what are the energy levels of this of this material uh, so it, it is similar in the previous case this was also 20.59 the efficiency was 20.59 and the energy level was similar like this so let's say we copy this figure and paste it over here this is in the two point for the energy band uh, it was like uh, 2.91 electron volt now we want to change it to uh, 3.2 and definitely it will shift the uh, conduction band and the wireless bed of the material as well so we want to see what happened on the energy level let's say run it now if we see the energy level a little bit uh, uh, the energy level change the band gap change and the efficiency is changed from 0.59 to the uh, 20.59 to 20.40 so it is decreased in the similar uh, in the similar way it will create a little spike or hair so uh, in this case copy and we'll say check it over here so if we see uh, this is uh, creating towards the positive the spike is a little bit arising uh, to uh, to this level and uh, in this case it is easy for the for the horns to to move from perovskite to the spiral but in this case a spike is uh, rising so uh, let's say we want to increase a little bit more so that we can we can see the the effect let's say it is 3.5 spiral for the spiral so on the titanium it was 3.2 I think for the titanium and for the spiral let's say it is uh, 3.4 so that we can see the effect 
Oh, yes, in this case, it is around about 8.52. And see the band gap, uh, the energy band gap effect on the uh, valence band offset. Copy the figure and delete this one. Let's see. Now you can see that when we change the band gap of the material, now there is another uh, spike on this uh, on this interface. So it will be difficult for, for, for the holes to overcome on this spike and the performance will drop uh, as we have uh, we have seen in the in the efficiency of this material. So in this video we have learned that uh, there are two ways uh, to uh, to see the effect of energy levels on the performance of the perskite uh, solar cells. So one is uh, the changing the affinity of the material, and the other one is uh, changing the band gap. So these are the two ways to to see the band offset effect on the performance of the perskite uh, solar cells. In the coming video, we will learn some more about this, about the simulation and how we can we can analyze or investigate our device and different uh, properties of the material. Uh, thank you so much.